Today's Nerdist News is brought to you by Legion on FX. Did Deadpool change the future of the X-Men Cinematic Universe? I'm Amy Vorpal, and I'm pretty sure I'm filling in for Jessica Chobot, who may or may not be popping in like she did yesterday. Yep, called it. There she is. All right. Uh, hey, Jess, cool psychiatrist costume. Yes, and uh, how does that make you feel? Like I want to keep doing the news? Speaking of, with the news that Fox's upcoming X-Men films, Dark Phoenix and The New Mutants, are both getting pushed back again, X-Fans are wondering how worried they should be about the state of the X-Men universe. Now, even though this episode is sponsored by Legion, we have no inside information on what's going on with the X-Men properties. We're just bringing you this news like we do any other. Word on the street is that Dark Phoenix's delay is due to, what else, but reshoots. Reports say the reshoots were to tighten up the third act, and since the film is filled with A-listers like Jennifer Lawrence, Michael Fassbender, and James McAvoy, coordinating all of their schedules for filming is rough. Hence the additional six months tacked onto the back end. But why was New Mutants delayed again? Originally, New Mutants was supposed to drop next month on April 13th, but was pushed to February of 2019. And now it's been pushed again to August of 2019. The reason for this delay? Reshoots as well. According to Collider, rumors are swirling that at least 50% of the film will be reshot, which is admittedly a bit worrisome to even the most casual fans of the franchise. In the same article, Collider says that the New Mutant reshoots are in response to Fox execs wanting to make the spin-off tonally distinctive along the lines of Logan and Deadpool, as well as to add one or two major new characters. There's also word that the most recent cut of the mutant horror flick just wasn't scary enough. So it may be worrying to fans to hear that Fox's next biggest ensemble X-Men films to drop after Deadpool 2 are both undergoing reshoots. But this could be a sign that the success of Deadpool and Logan has finally helped the studio find its groove. So, what was your childhood like? Huh? Oh, no, 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 I get it. You're trying to get in my head. Well, too bad, Jess. Not even great cosplay can stop me from doing the news. With Marvel Cinematic Universe having cornered the market on interweaving blockbusters, it's pretty much left all the other superhero houses out there with one of two options. Follow Marvel's lead and get your own cinematic universe, or just forget the need for continuity between films. And let's be real, timeline continuity has never been the strong suit of Fox's X-Men films. But now, by leaning even further away from continuity, we think the X-Men are finally figuring out how to make their superheroes distinct without getting all timey-wimey trying to keep things straight. Deadpool was the first X-Men spinoff to put its stake in this new world by telling a story that ignores previous continuity, the first version of Deadpool, a different Colossus, etc., and instead focusing on creating a solid story in its own right. And they had similar success by letting Wolverine become the grizzled, R-rated limo driver we always knew he could be in Logan. The TV side of the X-Men universe also lives in its own totally different sandbox, with Legion and the Gifted finding success while feeling so different from each other that we would be hard-pressed to imagine a crossover anytime soon. So. What does this all mean for the future of the X-Men cinematic universe? Well, we think it means that there won't really be an intertwined universe anymore, at least not in the traditional sense. The X-Men will continue to live on in their own world as the X-Men until whatever happens with the Disney Fox acquisition. However, it's hard to imagine anyone besides Ryan Reynolds playing Deadpool, and Disney would be foolish to replace him no matter what that means for continuity. The exact same can be said for Wolverine. If they ever wanted to incorporate Old Man Logan into the MCU, there is no other perfect choice than Hugh Jackman to slap on the claws. And we think this could apply to the reshoots of the New Mutants as well. By attempting to create a unique voice for the film that disregards the baggage of continuity, we could see Fox just creating unique films that transcend the need for reinterpretation down the road when all of the X-Men eventually join the MCU. Uh, should I stop hosting and start psychiatristing? Whatever makes you happy, Jessica. Anyway, folks, what do you think? Did Deadpool kill the need for the shared X-Men universe? What other genres of mutant TV or movies would you want to see? And who is your favorite X-Men? Become says his is Gambit. Let's discuss. And a big thanks to today's sponsor, Legion, which premieres this Tuesday, April 3rd at 10 p.m. on FX. Based on the Marvel comics, the series follows the story of X-Men character David Haller, possibly the most powerful mutant the world has ever seen. Last season ended with a mysterious orb taking David to an unknown place, while the Shadow King escaped with Oliver Bird and Lenny. Or did he? 
For more videos and info, be sure to follow Legion on social media. Also, is it me or does Lenny look kind of familiar?